2021 Mercedes Maybach GLS 600 Review, Diamond Lipstick. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Just hearing the word, Maybach, instantly transports me to a star-studded red carpet event or a glitzy music video brimming with champagne and beautiful people. The brand's revival in 1997 via the 57 concept established Maybach as the last word in German luxury, and it's essentially maintained that status on and off over the past 25 years. The 2021 Mercedes Maybach GLS 600 marks a new era for the iconic brand as Maybach's first crossover. Taking the fight directly to fellow relative newcomers like the Rolls-Royce Cullinan and Bentley Bentayga, both already booming with sales, the Maybach GLS needs to be more than just a Mercedes-Benz on steroids to stand out. And it both is and isn't. Chrome features catch your eye before even stepping inside of the Maybach GLS, while upscale options like rear recliners and a champagne fridge adorn the cabin. There's even a Maybach-specific drive mode that makes the large SUV feel even more cloud-like on the road. All of it lends credence to the SUV's six-figure starting price. The Maybach GLS costs $160,500 out of the gate. But on the other end of the spectrum, there's still too much GLS in this vehicle's DNA. Exceptional levels of comfort, safety, and technology give the Maybach GLS its impressive score, in fact, it's the highest rated SUV we've driven to date. But the clearly visible GLS bones, in contrast to the ground-up Rolls-Royce and Bentley alternatives, sort of dull the experience comparatively. That's not to say this posh crossover isn't definitely worth the price of admission, however. Design is obviously subjective, so feel free to tell us that we need to get our eyes checked if you disagree. But dang, the Mercedes Maybach GLS is hard to look at. Most of the issues with the styling are on the front end, specifically the overuse of chrome in the grille and the absolutely gaudy lower vent openings with the same eye searing treatment. The Maybach GLS wears a variant of the traditional Mercedes front grille and bumper, but it ditches the embedded tripoint logo, because Maybach, and opts solely for bright vertical chrome slats instead. But it's the chrome vent inserts just below that draw the eye more immediately, and not in a good way. They don't mesh well with the GLS's overall design, especially the bright Designo Cardinal Red Paint, a $360 option. The Maybach-specific 23-inch wheels are extremely dope, to be fair. And the chrome window surrounds and roof rails aren't as offensive as that front end does, though why isn't the C-pillar trimmed like the B-pillar? The back end of the Maybach GLS is mostly clean, too, keeping the core GLS design elements intact but you could still do without the wholly unnecessary chrome between the taillights and lower down on the bumper. Inside, the front compartment of the Maybach looks and feels a lot like a traditional GLS. The optional wood-trimmed steering wheel, $600, pinstriped black piano trim, $850, and a smattering of Maybach logos are the only visual differences between this luxed-up version and a well-equipped base model. Otherwise, the same basic layout from the GLS carries over untouched. Two 12.3-inch screens sit perched atop the dash, there's a touchpad controller within the center console, and the vent and dash styling go totally untouched.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.